Johnny Depp is the world's highest paid actor, according to the 2012 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records. But despite his riches, he said he had no trouble with going back to his humble roots. The actor has made more than 60 films and is renowned for playing offbeat, quirky characters, including his Oscar-nominated turn as Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Still, the actor who dropped out of high school at 15 to become a rock musician seems to have the rare power in Hollywood to call the shots. But Depp said even he was dumbfounded at his success. There's no way to define anything, you know. I don't. I only know what I know. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's that I have a great handle on it myself, you know. It's just sort of what I do and what I've always wanted to do or what I've done. Um, I guess because I've always been okay with going back to pumping gas, you know. The Hollywood star was on the red carpet for the European premiere of his latest project, The Rum Diary, in London on Thursday. The film is based on a novel by his good friend and writer, the late Hunter S. Thompson. The film's director, Bruce Robinson, was pulled out of obscurity to direct the movie. Depp saw his British cult classic with Nail and I and thought he would be perfect for the job. Robinson said Depp finally won him over with a persistent but gentle nudge. But he's, he was tenacious and persuasive and kept bugging me. And if, if you're being bullied by Johnny Depp, you know, there are worse. It's like being hit with a flower, you know. It was very nice. But the Rub Diary struggled in its opening weekend in the United States, according to the latest box office figures released on Monday. It took in only $5 million, a significant loss considering it cost $45 million to make and could end up being one of the biggest flops of his career. Still, Depp has a few million and his gas-pumping skills to fall back on. Cindy Martin, Reuters.